Hey kids, are you planning on doing an event this year? YouCanEvents.com. YouCanEvent.com is the first place you want to go when organizing your conference or event. With YouCanEvent.com, attract sponsors within four days and watch your ticket sales take off by having your event showcased in virtual reality. Virtual reality. It's real. It's virtual. It's a reality. Available on your iPhone, laptop, or tablet. Share the vision of your event. And at the same time, you can get the best price for your venue rentals, furniture, catering, vendors, entertainers, and everything else that you need for your event. Clowns. No, not clowns. YouCanEvents.com. The first place you want to go when organizing your event or conference. All right, let's get to the show. Backyard, and uh, you, you haven't seen your backyard in a while, have you? No. <laughs> Two weeks of the family yeah. Euro- European vacation. What was I going to say? Was the charisma in in, uh, in Europe? Uh, was it? Pretty much. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Um, so how how'd it go? What, what what happened? What was the best thing? Um, Paris was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, and then Amsterdam was questionable. Questionable uh, with the family. It's questionable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good only there for two days. Yeah. And then from there, uh, London was beautiful, too. All so, right. Yeah, we were actually, the best part of the whole trip yeah. was we were there for the uh, World Cup. So Did you, oh, you weren't in Russia, though. So. Right, but, you know, when it, we were in London and Paris. The guys are crazy about oh, soccer, you just football. See, yeah, you yeah. see the entire city shut down. Wow, really? Everything just stops. There's like nothing going on <laughs> in really? this huge city. Except Everything, for the pubs. Yeah, the, all, every pub's packed with people yeah but every street's empty you can drive anywhere you want to go if you need to go somewhere <laughs> through the through the gate so that one really? hour that 90 minutes is like ghost town in these huge cities it's it was so it was the funnest thing so we wow. would go to these to the pubs or at the, at the hotel we'd watch a couple of the games and yeah it was so fun yeah it's it was incredible people getting into it over there uh in is it's the best place to ever watch yeah football it's a uh, soccer in that case you know it's just yeah. amazing so what an experience very cool man yeah really enjoyed it wow so, well yeah. i hope i get to do that one day mm-hmm um, and then the, the your boys had fun. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, you, to turn them loose, let them go out. Go oh, yeah, as much as we could. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get in trouble. Um, no, no, they're oh, they're, well, they, they're they're good kids. They weren't doing it right then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, very cool, man. Um. What uh, did you get, did you get to uh, talk with anybody out there about uh, crypto or you know blockchain no. or anything? You know, there was not any conferences going on at the time, no. so uh, I initially actually was going to, I was invited to a conference in, in Germany yeah. uh, to speak there, and then about a month before we were flying out, the conference, the conference got canceled. Oh, did it? So then we did end up not going to Germany, and we just, you know, just kind of modified our trip within Europe. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so there was just, there they postponed the conference, I think, till like the fall time. So, oh, all right. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we, we had to postpone ours also to February. Okay. The North American Sports and Blockchain Tour. Right. You're talking our about conference, time. Blockchain mm-hmm. Tour, Blockchain Conference. So, um, yeah, so we're still organizing that one right now. Mm-hmm. So, if anybody's watching that wants to be a sponsor or speaker or yeah. exhibitor, let us know. Yeah, well, I think it's going to yeah. get a lot more exciting. You know, everything gets more exciting with bigger prices. Yeah. It's like gold and silver. <laughs> yeah. You know, when it's. When it, and when things are on sale, constantly on sale, they never go up in price. No one's yeah. interested. No. But when the price starts going up, I remember we used to do conferences uh, for gold years ago yeah. when uh, gold was at 1900 1800 And it was just like thousands of people would show up at a conference. And then we did one about two years ago, and like 300 people showed up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just, All right. Well. And that was three years, two years ago. <laughs> so imagine what it would be it? like now. If you had a conf- gold conference now, I'm not sure how many is specifically talking about gold, and who knows how many people might, might actually show up. <laughs> so what, what's going on in gold? I don't even, I don't, I don't watch that kind of stuff. So what, tell me about You know, gold and silver are the most highly controlled um, market in the world. Yeah. Um, and, or manipulated, um, because if gold ever had the sneaking possibility of exploding up in price, that would mean that the opposite to it would be the paper dollar would not have value or would lose value. So it's all this game of smoke mm-hmm. and mirrors about keeping the price of the dollar elevated. Yeah. Uh, we're having it not break, crash through the you know support lines, uh, and keep the market propped up. So it's just a game of uh, it's 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 an illusionary game of paper, 
um, and, and the real asset classes, gold and silver, are being suppressed and held down yeah. um, simply because of the fact that if they were expensive, then people would want them. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. just like people would want to go to the conferences yeah. and fill all the doors. Right, so, um, but that's about to change, and everything's about to change, and that's one of the reasons you know it's kind of nice to have another chat with you because it's really is uh, we are getting to a point in time where I've mentioned in multiple of my videos, and I've been very clear about what's been you know about the word concept or not even concept, but the word new era of mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Now, as crazy as that sounds, but an era is something that describes not like a 10 year period. It describes like hundred multi hundred year period of time. Okay. And we are st sitting at the transition point right now between an old world of paper debt mm -hmm. and new world, a new era, I don't want to use a new world, new era of time that's going to be encapsulated with real things like gold and silver mm -hmm. and the one instrument that allows people to communicate throughout the entire world with the click of a button and that's cryptos cryptocurrencies yeah. mm -hmm. and so those three things are going to be the way of the new era of time and so gold and silver are going to hold extreme value because and when they're going to the all the mechanisms mechanisms that have been used to hold the price down fail this year um, and gold is in a seven-year cycle. So between, we are staring at what the day today's the seventeenth okay. of July, mm -hmm. and and we're in a jubilee year. A jubilee is something that's within the Bible, and it's a it's a fifty-year window. It's so on the fiftieth year. If people, if the governments of the world don't conform to what was written biblically, God makes it happen anyways. <laughs> <laughs> There's really and, and no stopping him. No stopping him. Yeah. He's going to do it whether he well, wants and, to, where you want him to or not. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. and so in a cycle that's basically called price meeting time. So you if a cycle's got a seven year cycle, you can suppress the price for six hundred uh, six years, uh, eleven months, and uh, you know and twenty nine days. Okay. But on the thirtieth day, on the tw it's you're going to lose. Because you're betting against a cycle that basically wins every time. So you you've seen this happen over and over. Yes. Right? Really? Yeah. And so okay. what's what we're, what's happening, including with cryptos right now, it's the same pretty much a pattern. Except the cryptos are not going back six years in terms of price suppression. They're going back since six months since you know since December of, of okay. last year. But uh, you know, so when you compress something, at the other end you get an explosion. Yeah. And the bigger the compression, the bigger the explosion. Okay. And so, you know, gold is going to explode and, and silver is going to explode times seven of what gold explodes. Just because they've manipulated the price of silver seven times worse than gold. Really? Um, and then the cryptocurrencies, because, you know, if, if to go back biblically or go back hundreds of years, even thousands of years, gold's always been money. But the thing is, is paper money, um, setting wires, has been more economical, and as the world's growing, yeah. you know what's happened. You've got you know jets and planes, and so the world is kind of uniting. Yeah. Um, so you know it's not just uh, you know walking to your neighbor's house anymore. Now you text and call everybody and the internet. So so gold itself uh, is even though it will hold substantial monetary value um, to community to to buy things across the world, you're going to have to have the cryptos. That's just what's going to happen. But all three of those are going to be, you know, very powerful, very powerful this year because the new era of time involves no paper debt. So the dollar and the, the paper instruments and the, and the stock markets crash and then ultimately lead into a bond crash. And all those three, you know, stocks, mm -hmm. dollar and bonds are going to set cryptocurrencies gold and silver vertical explosive it's and and, and it's like turning on a, a dam you know you, you you plug it up for seven years and when you finally turn it on the water explodes and that's why cryptos are so important to get involved in this year yeah because when the dam on the other side gets full yeah you can put more water in there later but it's it's when it's filling up is you want to be there just before it starts filling up so holding cryptos right now yeah. is a time because when it starts filling up, 
it's going to fill up with a lot of water, which means in that, to kind of give you an analogy, you know, that's where you might get multiplications of price. So you buy something for a, a, a penny and it becomes worth a dollar. Mm-hmm. Right. That's that's a, that's incredible. That's that's moving something over two decimal positions. Or let's say it goes to ten dollars and you bought it for a penny. That's a thousand percent. You know, that's a thousand. That's moving over three decimal places. Yeah. And you don't. You can if you put a thousand dollars on that. That's the the return is in, in oh, the mess. Gosh, you know. Yeah. So so people that got involved in Bitcoin years ago, um, who bought it at ten cents, you know, or say even a dollar. When I went to a thousand dollars, that's like ten million dollars. You you made on a thousand dollar investment right so so the, so the numbers are going to be astronomical and, or staggering so this year is going to be an incredible year and we're, we're just getting started um in, in the in the price movement so uh, even like last night when i when, I, uh, when we were chatting last or i sent you the email last night and uh, in the video yeah within the video um and you've been getting our our, our updates as yeah. well, our private updates um, what what was this, the key point in the video was that late in the afternoon, possibly today, Tuesday, the 17th, yeah. Bitcoin was about to start to t- take a moonshot or start to go vertical. Yeah. Um, and so it's going to basically start to launch and go up. And right around 2 o'clock today, what happened? Really? At 2? Bla- yeah. It yeah. just went and it went, it went, it did it. It went. F- and the, and the I, did, I did get like a little alert on my phone. It was like seventy seventy one $7,100. I'm like, what? Yeah. And yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. and and so the, from the from the video and from the chart from the chart actions that we've been looking at, um, the chart specifically talked about that the key number was six thousand eight hundred. Okay. And the reason that's so important, if you want to pull this chart, I'll show okay. you this so, on, uh, so on page one. Page one here. Um, you'll see this. It's in an inverted head and shoulders. Okay. So what happened in the middle of June? Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin made a left shoulder. Came back up to sixty eight hundred. Then it dropped. Couldn't back. couldn't crash through that. Yeah. So yep. it, so they got stuck. You see, they hit it like three times. Came then it dropped sharply into point B, which was the head. Okay. And that was the 29th of June. Okay. And that was at five thousand seven hundred seventy four dollars. And then, per the updates we sent to subscribers, it came back up and it touched what sixty eight hundred again. Wow. And then we were yeah. expecting this final pullback, and it gave it to us perfectly and gave us the right shoulder. And then last Friday, I said, don't be surprised that if by Monday, tu- Monday reverses, by Tuesday we explode, Bitcoin starts to explode. Uh, and, and the so next- you said this when? On Friday. You said this on Friday. Yeah. Friday. Okay. So Friday, we were looking for a reversal on Friday. We got the reversal Friday. Okay. And then, we, and then by Tuesday of this week, Bitcoin was supposed to break out. Which is Tuesday. Which, which is today. Yep. And then most importantly, tomorrow is going to be better than today. So this was only the start. And so we're supposed to have several days of this price action. Okay. Vertical. So, so, so what happened, and, then, and uh, from a trading perspective, this is where the shorts start to get squeezed. Yeah. So it, the pr- they're hoping the price is going to go down, but the exact opposite happens. It keeps going higher and higher, and and it's going to happen very violently, very qu- very quickly. Is it? So by this, so a week from today, I think it's about the twenty third, maybe, um, mm-hmm. or of, of of next week, maybe twenty fourth. So a week from today, uh, today being the seventeenth, um, do not be surprised if Bitcoin's you know near ten thousand dollars, or it could be higher. So, so it could because it's it's a breakout, and if you look at the chart, see we've got a triple bottom formation. So last time you and I spoke um, in April, well, actually um, this is this is when it we was met. at the end of end of April. Yeah, right? when we yeah. met uh, at the conference when Bitcoin bottomed. Yep, and then it came back up into the high in May. Yep, and this is what we talked about actually our last video that we chatted yeah, about. You, you told me you, you gave me months. advice. Make sure that you sell. You know, around I think it was right around the fourteenth of May or something. Right, and so and from so May, I did, and then we were looking for a down cycle into June. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't supposed to go beyond June. It, it was not supposed to go into July because it's it was on a, it's a monthly cycle. Yeah. So basically, we had February low, March high, April low, May high, June low, and then July explosion. And so the July move is now. So next target is around seventy seven hundred. This blue line here. Mm-hmm. Once it takes out seventy seven eight hundred to eight thousand, then you're really going to see the the fireworks go because it's not, that won't stop it. And then it's going to go vertical, and we should and and it should go relatively high, kind of heading up towards where it was in January at eighteen thousand, pretty wow. pretty quickly. Okay. So it may not get there in in 
in July. But um, but, but the next few weeks, it's supposed to be very very exciting. We the high that we have, and we've I've given you within. Our, our charts, you know, that you look at on, for the subscribers that get it. Yeah. We do have a high for August. So the explosion that starts now doesn't end until August. Really? Yes. And there's going to be, th- and, we're, and the cycle indicates we're supposed to have three price spikes. Um, so it's not just, that doesn't mean one day. It means multi-day, then a top, a drop, multi-day spike again, and then a drop, and then a third multi-day run to the upside. Wow. And the third one's supposed to be more exciting, uh, most exciting of all of them, that, and that's supposed to be in, 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 uh, in August. Yeah. And then it's a little scary because the drop should be pretty sizable after that. So people are gonna, can, getting, are getting in late on this one are uh-huh. going to get hurt because <sighs> when it gets to that top in August, they're going to slam it pretty hard. Um, but that, but then again, that just sets the stage for the next phase. But this, this is this is only the first phase of three for this year. And then as a year progresses, it's going to be you know much much larger numbers. So, yeah. so this is the time to get in because basically today, the seventeenth of July, okay. just mark on your calendars as the day Bitcoin broke out, broke the bear trend, and it's game on. Okay, so when is going to be too late to get in? Um, well. You're gonna have a low, a, a pullback size bull in 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 August, but then okay. you can really you can get back in in August at the end, yeah. right? right? So somewhere in August you can get back in. I, you know, so there's a time point we have in August uh, that's there's a specific date. So before August, before August, what's what's what do you? Well, right now, if if you're if you're just like because the the flood's about to happen now, okay. so you so getting in like. Now is is important. Okay. That's why I even uploaded a video yesterday to the public, and I said, you know, just just know that the Bitcoin's in a bull market. It's not a bear market. But this phase is the deny. It's called the denial phase. <laughs> it's not yeah. the river in Jordan. <laughs> it's the <laughs> denial. <laughs> denial. Denial. Yeah. Denial. All um, right. But but in the denial phase, everybody's going to keep saying, "Oh, it's not in a bull market," and they're just and so you're not going to get the people. You know, the wise. Mm-hmm. will be in on the game. Okay. And everybody else will not be in on the game because they don't believe. All right. So we'll, we'll see what happens, man. Okay, okay so what go. else we got? What else we got here? Um, so in addition to Bitcoin, there's going to be, we've, we've got, we talked about the ultimate, there's, so in, in addition to Bitcoin, we did talk about the other patterns uh, progressing. Uh, well, let's talk about page three. No, page three here. Page three, um, you can St- put on the on the video as well too, but basically this t- this shows what we were looking at. Okay? okay, and so if you start at point C, you got C, D, E, F, G, and then H and I. I was last Friday. Okay, and then now we're shooting up to J. Got it. So basically, between I and J, we're supposed to have one heck of a move. Wow, vertical, um, and that's supposed to be now. That's crazy, man. And and that's just the start of it, you know. So this is just the, this 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 is just the beginning of what's going to be progressing this year, twenty eighteen. Now, in addition to Bitcoin, um, on page four, okay, there is a um, there are a few coins. We're not going to show the all the coins um, in our update. We provide twenty six coins that we cover. Uh, the top coins you'll see right here uh, with ZRX. Okay. ZRX? ZRX uh, is, the, is, the, is the token of the coin. Okay. Um, from March into May, it made a 290% gain relative to Bitcoin. Okay. So it outperformed Bitcoin by nearly 300%. Okay. Wow. And, then, and then as of yesterday, the 16th, it's outperforming Bitcoin by 232%. Wow. Okay. okay. So that one is, is one of my uh, favorite coins uh, just because of its chart that I'm looking, that I look at. I look at its pattern and it's got a beautiful chart pattern. Um, another coin that uh, we covered within our update pretty closely uh, is Digibyte. Okay. And I think we've mentioned that before, but Digibyte from the March, April low it made a hundred and thirteen percent move, which is impressive relative to Bitcoin. So it did a hundred percent more than Bitcoin. Okay. However, as of yesterday, the sixteenth, it's up over a hundred and forty-two percent. Wow. Relative to Bitcoin, and it's just, and again, this is just getting started. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, did these these are two coins that um, there's many more. There's 26 that we have within our up, within the update, but those two coins are going to be one. I believe it's a two of of the big hitters for this year 2018 okay. that are going to far outperform Bitcoin. So, and, and then from perspective of charting, that's basically what I wanted to cover today. Yeah. Um, but specifically, the, the the key to everything is. We are living in a time where this is really exciting. This is, we are living in biblical times as much as, and as hard as that is to believe, yeah. we are. Yeah. These are biblical times, um, and in biblical times, biblical things happen. You're going to see moves, price moves, that are astronomical, that you have never imagined or cannot imagine. And it's like gold and silver. This is God's money. God's a little annoyed. I'm sure he's quite a bit annoyed with what's been going on in the world. Yeah. Um, everything that's been going on, especially for the past many years now, has been very ungodly. And God's a little more than a little annoyed, I'm sure, at this point. And things are about to happen. This is a biblical year. When things happen, God multiplies not by one or two. He multiplies by 30 by 60, by 100. These are numbers that are provided within the Bible. Yeah. So if imagine some, multi, some of these coins, um, forget even the coins, imagine gold and silver multiplying. If silver multiplied by 30, 20 times 30 is $600 silver. Wow. Okay. Okay. So these are numbers that I believe are coming soon whether it may not happen this year but six hundred dollars silver is in the cards because biblically it's very clear 30 multiples of 30 or multiple of 60 are very very possible and likely because that is how god works and so 20 times 30 is six hundred dollars so in addition to these cryptocurrencies that we talked about today yeah. the cryptocurrencies gold silver are all are all key elements of this new era of time, and we are at the doorstep of it, and it's all supposed to trigger between today, okay. which I believe it started in cryptos, into Yom Kippur, which is the 19th of September. Is it? Okay. So the 19th, Yom Kippur is a new year, basically. It's a Hebrew, it's, it's a Jewish new year, but actually that's yeah. a misnomer. It's not the Jewish new year, it's God's new year. The Jews, the Jewish calendar, the Jews just happen to use God's calendar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's God's calendar used by the Jews. Yeah. But it's God's calendar. And so okay. God's new year is on Yom Kippur, which is the 19th of September. Okay. So between now and the 19th, all of these things that I'm discussing with you are become will become extremely apparent. Okay, so people should need, need to watch Gold and Silver. Well, not only watch... I think that it's it's important to be to to Make, get a position in. Well, right, because like what if, if this happens, you have to remember that the, that the paper that you're holding yeah. goes in the other direction. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So so at, if at least you're holding gold and silver, if you're holding some cryptocurrencies, you've you've protected not only yourself but your family. Yeah. And then you've protected yourself and your family, and God's going to be involved in this equation. So you know you're going to be multiple of probably thirty minimum. Wow. Okay. Right. So, so you know, Jesus came to save the captives, and the captives are who are those? Who are the captives? It's all those people who use paper and believe that there's just no hope, and then just you know, everything just controlled and controlled. But yeah. ultimately, all of this changes, yeah. and and it will. And and we are in an incredible point in time in our world. We're standing at the doors of some major changes, and uh, it's. I'm really glad to. Yeah, chat, chat with you about this. Yeah, man, this is great. Yeah. You know, let's let's keep it going because I, I, you know, I, I've been watching this stuff, and you saved me some heartache from uh, <laughs> getting out at the right time. And um, uh, yeah, I'm, I've got some some more more coming back in right now, so that's a good time to to uh, to have this stuff. So, um, and I've never been been big into gold or silver. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. So that's the whole you know that you know it seems so. And I guess for people who aren't into crypto, it's probably the same thing. They're like, well, you know, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do. But I mean, back whenever I was a kid, I mean, we didn't have the internet to to go look at YouTube and things like that to figure out how to buy Bitcoin or or how to buy gold or how to buy silver. 
you know, it was a mis- it was the, you know, only the rich people had it or whatever. Well, right. You know, and the thing is with gold, like you really don't need to go buy gold because silver, if you, if, if you are listening and you got, okay, gold's going to go up, mm-hmm. silver's going to do what gold does times seven. So it's going to do a multiple of what gold does. And so it's so easy to go buy gold. You just look on your Google, yeah. phone, you know, local coin shop. You know, yep. but they don't tell you how to do all this. No, they you, don't. You know, no, no. And, and even like the cryptocurrencies, they've made it so difficult to mm. go buy them. Yeah. Um, and me- meaning that like if you if some if somebody of like a whale or somebody wanted to go drop a uh, million dollars on cryptos, it's not that easy. No, no. You, you don't just go down to the crypto store and buy some. Right. Because yeah. they, they put the caps and limits on how much you can put in and all yep. these things. So they're trying to really control and not let people really get in on the party. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> because it trust me, this is going to be a party. Yeah. And and if it goes the which direction I think it's going to go, mm-hmm. I think we're all we you and I are going to have a big party <laughs> at the end of the year. <laughs> well, uh, Coinbase is going to have to open up their <laughs> open up their wallets for me to be able to put more into it because they they've got me you know everyone has their little their the cap limits on their caps yeah. yeah but yeah. it keeps going up yes you know I've been in it long enough to where I'm I'm higher than than a lot of people right so. but also but you can do some homework and there's there's a, an exchange called Gemini. Okay. Dot com. Okay. And again, I have no relationship to them, but uh, I know I've personally used them. Other people I know use them, uh, and I think they're they don't have caps, or they or or the caps are way higher mm. than what Coinbase has. Okay. So you know, if people listening out there they want to get a little more involved, you know, um, Gemini's and, uh, and, and their fees I think are a lot lower. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, Coinbase seems to. Oh be a, yeah. yeah. That's not fun. No. Yeah. 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 Every time you do a transaction, you take a little, you know, piece of the pie. Yeah, and I and, noticed and that when I first got in, I, I moved you know stuff here and there, and before I know, I'm like, where's all my money go? Yeah. And it was in the yeah. freaking fees. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a wake up call. Yeah, so. and I've noticed that the Gemini's fees yeah. are substantially they're very very small. Yeah. And so there's there's other exchanges, but so do your homework on different exchanges of where okay. you can get get involved. But those are two that I, that I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, well, so, yeah. wonderful man. So. Um, uh, when are we when are we gonna do this again? What uh, what's uh, what's the next uh, milestone that you think we should be talking about? Uh, got a high coming in in August. Okay. So we'll do it right right around the high. Which would be. Well, I'm not gonna give you the date right now. Okay. All right. And we'll do it just after the high. All right. So then, you know, so so you know, you'll know about it. We'll do it probably the day after the high or, okay. or day of the high. Will you? Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. Actually, we'll do the day of the high, but then you can post the video two days later. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you heard it here, guys. All right. Well, good talking with you, man. Thank you so much. Dude. Right. I appreciate it. All right, bye. Bye.